Hi, this is Ed Baig with USA Today. So HTC has built a reputation in the last few years for producing beautiful hardware, really nice phones, and they don't sell particularly well. Well, now we have the new HTC One M9. That's the latest flagship from the Taiwanese company. And like its predecessors, it's a beautiful looking device. Uh, it's, it's all metal, kind of dual tone. It actually evokes fine jewelry. So it's a good looking device. It's got some of the features that HTC fans of recent uh, vintage phones have come to appreciate. It's got what they call uh, boom sound speakers. They sound really good, arguably the best sound you'll hear on a smartphone. Everything about it makes it a really nice phone. So why am I not totally gaga over it? Well, it's a really nice phone, but there's a lot of things that HTC has kind of left out, things that rivals have, have, have gotten around to the fingerprint sensor that's on the, uh, the most recent iPhones and now the new Galaxy uh, S6 and S6 Edge from Samsung. Not a deal breaker. I like having it. I've got accustomed to it being there. The phone isn't water resistant. We've seen some water resistant phones out there. This doesn't happen to be one of them. And though you can use it with Google Wallet, it doesn't have a dedicated mobile payment service like Apple has with Apple Pay and that Samsung will have uh, with its upcoming Samsung Pay system. The camera on this phone, nice, but not outstanding. In fact, the last few years, HTC has pushed something they call ultra pixels, fewer pixels, but larger pixels that are meant to improve the likelihood of getting decent shots in low light. Well, they told you that's the way to go. Suddenly, it's no longer the way to go, at least on the rear camera. They now have a conventional 20 megapixel shooter on the rear camera. It takes decent pictures, not the best I've seen on a smartphone. The ultra pixels haven't totally gone away though. They're now on the uh, front camera so you can take good low life selfies. So overall, HTC has delivered a very solid phone. Anybody who buys it I think will be pleased. It's got a nice screen, not the nicest screen out there, but a nice screen. A lot of things to recommend it. And yet somehow I wish they had gone just a little bit further. For USA Today, I'm Ed Baig, and I'll catch you next time.